Article 103 of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana mandates Parliament to set up standing committees and other committees that they deem fit to help them in the discharge of their duties. The Public Account Committee was established by the Standing Order 1512 of the Parliament of Ghana in accordance with this constitutional mandate. Over the years, many worrying findings have been made by the committee and among other recommendations, most of these findings have been consistently sent to the Attorney General for prosecution. Yet, updates on many of these cases are still scanty. We wrote a formal letter making the referrals. So we expect the Attorney General to give us an update, especially having begun the new year. If, if it's not coming voluntarily, we may have to prompt him that as a committee you want an and indeed parliament we want an update on what work has been done so far on the names that have been referred to its outfit for uh, further further investigation into those matters and, and prosecution in 2016 the then chairman of the committee Kwekwa Jamang Menu expressed disappointment at the slow pace of prosecution of individuals involved in the JIDA scandal, but the Attorney General insisted due process had to be followed and the judicial process could not be rushed. Indeed, this signature delay in effecting the prosecution of individuals and other agencies implicated in various irregularities identified by the committee has persisted. About 89 public officers were referred to the Attorney General last year for persecution over various degrees of violations, but any concrete update from this referral is yet to come up. And now, some heads of 26 health institutions have also been referred to the Attorney General for persecution over some procurement breaches, adding to the list of cases recommended to the Attorney General's office for persecution. The question that lingers on many minds is whether or not the committee's recommendations to the Attorney General's office are of any effect to the extent of ensuring accountability. In 2021, Chairman of the committee, James Kluge Avedi, requested that the committee be given powers to effect arrests in an attempt to curtail the long processes of referring cases to other accountability agencies. Maybe. This could be a solution to the current slow pace of things with regards to effecting the recommendations of the committee and the achievements of its mandate. But for now, all referrals and recommendations are left at the mercy of time. Manasya Prum, TV3 News, Accra.